century shipwreck has been uncovered off the Norfolk coast in the east of England. 500 year old Portuguese ship filled with gold coins. The so-called mortar wreck was discovered in 2020. Can you imagine stumbling upon a hidden treasure chest at the bottom of the ocean? A literal smoking gun that may pinpoint another lost ship from the treasure fleet. That's what finding a shipwreck is like. These underwater graveyards are packed with secrets from ancient gold to stories of brave sailors and epic disasters. As the holy grail of shipwrecks, the galleon was sunk after a disastrous naval battle with the British in 1708. So what are some of the most insanely amazing shipwrecks discovered to date? And how did they end up having a fate like this? Let's dive in. Number one, a 3300-year-old ship discovered in Israel. A groundbreaking discovery in the waters of Israel is challenging everything we thought we knew about shipwrecks. The ship was discovered by the workers of a gas drilling company called Energean, which specializes in digging deep-sea natural gas fields in Israel's water territory. And believe me, when I say that this 3300-year-old ship could rewrite history books. Having doubts? The Israel Antique Authority has confirmed that this might be the oldest example of an antique ship ever known to mankind. I should find dusty. Uh, recover the items because that felt as a... What has really caught the interest of researchers all over the world is not the age of the wooden ship, but rather the interesting details it offers. Take the ship's position, for example. It denotes that the ancient sailors were far more clever than we thought since they could sail freely without any sight of land ahead. The vessel drowned approximately 55 miles away from Israel's Mediterranean coast and was found at a depth of 1,800 meters. So what do you think really happened to the ship? A dangerous storm or a pirate attack? Number two, Swedish warship Mars. Let's rewind back to the 1560s. Sweden has just launched a mighty warship called Mars or Makalos, a suitable title for one of the largest warships of the era. Fast forward to 1564, during the Northern Seven Years' War, Mars found herself in the heat of battle during the First Battle of Oland. It was the legend uh, surrounding the Mars that actually got me intrigued as a young boy. Uh, I wanted to find her and kind of see if the legend was true. Things started off well for the Swedish fleet, but the end? Let's just say a disaster was in store for Mars. Bad weather scattered the ships. By morning, Mars was left alone, surrounded by enemies. The attackers set her alight, and with 300 Lubeckians trying to claim their prize, the fire reached the ship's magazine. Just a few seconds later, an explosion took place, demolishing Mars and everyone, everything on board. For hundreds of years, Mars remained hidden under the sea until 2011, when ocean discovery found her resting at a depth of 75 meters still in her glory with her bronze cannons. Archaeologists are currently invested in studying the ship with the help of modern technology. They believe this wreck can turn out to be legendary for the years. Do you think archaeologists would be able to unveil the mysteries this shipwreck holds? Number three, world's oldest intact shipwreck. Imagine surveying the seabed to track changes over time, only to stumble upon 60 ancient shipwrecks, each around 2,500 years old. That's exactly what happened to the Black Sea Maritime Archaeology Project, MAP, team. Among all the shipwrecks, the one that particularly caught the worker's eye was the Greek vessel lying 50 miles away from the coast of Bulgaria. This was no ordinary ocean antique. This was the world's oldest shipwreck, resting peacefully as if it had never been touched before. Thanks to the anoxic oxygen-free conditions at the bottom of the Black Sea. Little oxygen at this depth and the ship's timbers are well preserved. Incredibly, it looks almost as it did the day it sank. The ship's mast, rudders, cargo, and even the benches where rowers sat remained rust-free. Using high-tech laser scanning and photogrammetry, the researchers were able to capture detailed 3D images of the wreck. Is it an old-age secret weapon? 
or is it just random cargo tossed out of the ship that still survived? Number four, skeleton uncovered at ancient Antikythera shipwreck. This time, it's not a lost artifact that could redefine quantum physics, but a human skeleton. Imagine the thrill of the divers when they first stumbled upon it. It must have felt like discovering a real-life treasure chest, minus the gold and jewels. And most famously, a sophisticated clockwork device dubbed the Antikythera mechanism. Discovered near the Greek island of Antikythera, this rare find promises to unveil the lives of those aboard the ship over 2,000 years ago. Archaeologists and geneticists are collaborating to extract DNA from the bones, hoping to uncover the identities and origins of these ancient travelers. Who knows what secrets the DNA might reveal about their lives, health, and even the ship's final moments. Studies suggest the skeleton belongs to a young man, perhaps in his late teens or early 20s. It's a bummer his story ended early, but he left us with a legacy. Let's hope he didn't get too seasick. Number five, the Endurance Shipwreck, a ship that pulled off the ultimate disappearing act and then made a grand comeback. I'm talking about Sir Ernest Shackleton's beloved Endurance. This ship was the heart and soul of its 27-person crew, filled with dreams of conquering Antarctica. But Mother Nature had other plans. The Endurance got trapped in an icy vice and disappeared without a trace. Talk about a bad case of wanderlust. Crazy enough, the crew, including the legendary Shackleton, managed to escape this frozen prison. They were like survivors from an epic adventure movie. Fast forward a hundred years, the Endurance resurfaces from its icy grave, 3,000 meters deep. Researchers are now diving deep. Endurance is 3,000 meters down the seabed. It's sitting proud of the seabed. It's a coherent wreck, so it's in basically one piece. It's as if it's been frozen in time. It's been preserved. Into the ship's secrets, and the rest of us are just sitting here. Number six, 500-year-old shipwreck discovered. You wouldn't believe it, but just last May, the world was casually scrolling through its feeds when China dropped a bombshell. Their underwater archaeologists had stumbled upon a treasure chest unlike any other. Not filled with gold coins or sparkly jewels, but with stuff that could rewrite history books. Two ancient shipwrecks, one older than the other, lying peacefully on the ocean floor, just chilling with a whole bunch of artifacts. We're talking about a mind-boggling 100,000 pieces of history here, some of the most fascinating being fancy porcelain and intricate jewelry. One of these vessels is a massive cargo spread out over an area the size of a small football field. The other ship was more of a lumberjack on the water, loaded with timber that's way older than you think. Now the real fun begins. Scientists are gearing up for 50 underwater adventures to explore these sunken sites. Once they've taken a good look around, they'll carefully bring up the treasures and start piecing together the puzzle of the past. Number seven, Portuguese ship filled with gold coins discovered. You know those movies where people find a treasure chest full of gold coins? Well, this story is way cooler. Instead of a tropical island or a hidden cave, this treasure is buried in the middle of a desert. History buffs are going to enjoy this next story. The wreckage of a 500-year-old Portuguese ship filled with gold coins has been unearthed. You heard that, right? We're talking about a shipwreck, but not just any shipwreck. This one is around 7,500 years old. And it's not just old. It's packed with gold, ivory, and other goodies that would make a pirate blush. But here's the real head-scratcher. How did a ship end up in the desert? Did it sail over a hill or something? Or did the ocean just up and decide to take a vacation? Pirates, ancient sea monsters, or maybe even aliens, all theories are on the table. Number eight, Nazi battleship Bismarck. This Nazi warship was like the Thanos of the ocean, feared by all. But just like the Mad Titan, it met its end, plunging to the depths of the Atlantic and disappearing into history. This brings back long suppressed memories. Fast forward a bunch of years and boom, 
someone finds this legendary ship sitting at the bottom of the ocean, looking surprisingly fresh for something that's been lying there for decades. It's like finding a brand new car at the bottom of a lake. But wait, there's more. The guy who found it, Robert Ballard, is also the person who found the Titanic. This guy is like Indiana Jones, but with better boats. The Bismarck was Hitler's prized possession, a floating fortress designed for missions to cut Britain's supplies off. It was all about power and dominance. Now it's just a really expensive paperweight at the bottom of the ocean. So can this once mighty warship still impress us now that it's a shipwreck? Only time and a lot of careful restoration will tell. Number nine, Pearl Harbor. Let's take a trip back in time. We're talking about the USS Arizona, a legendary battleship that met its fate at Pearl Harbor. Recently, a team of National Park Service archaeologists and National Geographic photographers made an underwater venture. Armed with fancy tech, they slipped inside the ship to explore the unexplored. And guess what they found? A treasure trove of artifacts, perfectly preserved thanks to the ship's underwater chill zone. These objects aren't just old stuff, they're pieces of a powerful story. And I'm not just talking about metal and wood here. These artifacts are connected to the 1,177 brave souls who lost their lives on that fateful day. 1,177 men died, and many of them died right at the location that you're diving at and that you're looking at. December 7th, 1941 is a date that should never be forgotten. But thanks to this incredible discovery, the world is reminded once again of the heroism shown that day. It's like those brave sailors are telling their story all over again, one artifact at a time. Number 10, Mortar Wreck. This is the story of Mortar Wreck, a medieval ship that was recently uncovered in Pool Bay, England. Diver is brushing off debris from an ancient shipwreck. The so-called Mortar Wreck was discovered in 2020. With its timbers dating back to the reign of King Henry III, between 1242 and 1265. The now rusted ship was named after the mysterious cargo it carried, which was basically tons of Gothic Purbeck stone gravestones. And if you know anything about Roman history, you would know that these aren't any ordinary stones, and neither was the vessel carrying them. This discovery is exceptionally rare, as few seagoing vessels from the 11th to the 14th century have survived in English waters. With the hull still visible, the mortar wreck is a living proof of England's rich maritime history. Number 11, San Jose Galleon. The San Jose Galleon deserves a special mention among the legends. This Spanish treasure ship, which met its tragic end over 300 years ago off the coast of Colombia, carried tons of gold, silver, and emeralds. The San Jose was in Panama, looting gold brought up from the west coast of South America, and it was there for a very long period of time, so it stored a lot of gold. Imagine billions of dollars worth of treasure sunk in a single moment of history. Discovered in 2015, it was like finding a golden ticket Treasure hunters and historians alike were beside themselves. Called the Holy Grail of Shipwrecks, it's no wonder everyone wants a piece of the action. Colombia? Spain? Even some salty sea dog descendants are throwing their hats in the ring. But who really owns this underwater gold mine? That's a question as deep as the ocean itself. Lying in over 2,000 feet of water, the San Jose is a vault of history. Sure, the gold and jewels are tempting, but the real treasure might be the stories it can tell about the Spanish Empire's might. Cannons, probably the ship's last line of defense, are giving us a peek into its final moments. But this is just the tip of the iceberg. What other secrets does San Jose hold? Number 12, Roman ship. Sunken over 2,000 years ago. Let's dive into a world over 2,000 years old. Off the coast of Italy, beneath nearly 160 meters of seawater, lies a silent witness to the Roman Empire's might. 
a cargo ship frozen in time. Hundreds of amphorae, those ancient clay jars, still standing tall and proud. These discoveries also tell about the trade routes that once connected the far corners of the empire. So who discovered it? The discovery was made by the Carabinieri Police's art squad, who were initially assigned the task of protecting Italy's cultural heritage. Using a remotely operated robot, the team captured images of the wreck, which were a crystal clear representation of the impressive preservation. The ship is more than just a collection of old pots. It shows the skill and courage of ancient sailors. To navigate vast seas without GPS or modern tools, that is not some layman job. Number 13, ancient Greek computer hidden in shipwreck. You might think the world's first computer was discovered in a lab or created by a genius engineer, but it was actually found thousands of meters below the seabed. Can you believe that? This is the Antikythera mechanism, discovered off the coast of the Greek island Antikythera in 1901. Looks like something out of a sci-fi movie. Well, it's as real as the gold in Fort Knox. Dating back to around 100 BCE, this bronze box filled with gears is essentially an ancient Greek supercomputer. It's so complex and advanced that it's often called the world's first analog computer. It's an analog computer. It doesn't use digital. It uses wheels and gears. This was a device that we wouldn't see again for another 2,000 years until the 1800s. You can only imagine the level of tech 2,000 years ago. Initially overshadowed by other treasures from the shipwreck, it was only when scholars took a closer look that they realized they were holding something extraordinary. It could track the sun, moon and planets, predict eclipses, and even time the Olympic Games. Now that's what I call a multitasking device. But the real kicker? This level of engineering wouldn't be seen again for over 15 centuries. It's like the ancient Greeks had a secret head start on the future. Number 14, Mary Rose Ship. What must have been the pride and glory of the crew who once rode the Mary Rose, a Tudor warship that sailed the seas during the period of King Henry VIII. This iconic ship was built between 1509 and 1511 and served the king for over three decades. But on a fateful day in 1545, during a clash with the French, the Mary Rose met its end in the Solent. Did she strike a hidden reef? Was it a case of too much sail and not enough wind? No one knows for sure. Fast forward to 1971, when the wreck was rediscovered, and then to 1982, when she was dramatically raised from the depths. The world watched in awe as this ghost ship from the Tudor era emerged from the sea. The Mary Rose held thousands of artifacts like weapons, clothing, and even musical instruments. It's like stepping back in time and walking the decks yourself. Number 15, HMS Victory. When talking about dominance and glory, HMS Victory for sure comes to the mind. This vessel wasn't some average ship, it was Admiral Nelson's legendary flagship that became a symbol of Britain's naval supremacy in the 18th century. For the initial 13 years, Victory was limited to short missions or just reserved to the warehouse. This extended storage also resulted in almost one third of the ship being eaten away by the decay. But it was soon replaced as the ship took center stage at the Battle of Trafalgar in 1805, where victory set a new standard for naval warfare. Let me tell you the most shocking detail about this vessel. HMS Victory was the first commissioned warship of the world, and approximately 6,000 trees were used in its construction. It took 6,000 oak trees to build her, clearing 100 acres of woodland. But apparently, that wasn't enough to keep it standing for long, since the ship underwent five major repairs and was almost completely revamped after it was used in the Battle of Trafalgar. So how HMS Victory met its watery grave? I'll let you make guesses. Number 16, HMS Gloucester. The HMS Gloucester, 
a British cruiser launched in 1928, is making headlines again, but not for the reasons you might think. This ship, armed with eight powerful six-inch guns, met its fate during World War II's Battle of Cape Matapan in 1941. While the ship kept up a good fight, it was ultimately pushed deep under the water by the enemy forces. Now this warship, HMS Gloucester, sank 340 years ago. But fast forward to 2012, and divers discovered the wreck off the coast of Greece. Finding this old vessel back was quite an achievement for the archaeologists, because this wasn't a usual shipwreck, but one of the fastest cruisers in the Royal Navy that could achieve speeds up to 32 knots. Number 17. The Lost Spanish Fleet of 1715. On July 31st, 1715, a mighty Spanish treasure fleet set sail from the New World with a fortune in gold, silver, and jewels. But nature had other plans. A strong storm swept through the Florida Straits, battering the fleet with 100 mph of winds and fierce waves. Of the 12 ships, 11 were lost by either sinking or smashing into reefs. More than a thousand lives were lost and the coast was littered with wreckage and bodies. But the Spaniards were interested in something else, gathering their treasure. Did it end well for them? Absolutely not, because the pirates soon took over and looted the leftovers. Fast forward to the 1950s, Kip Wagner was led back to the sea by, you guessed it right, the Trail of Gold Coins. Number 18, Queen Anne's Revenge. Now, if the name Blackbeard doesn't bring up images of daring pirates, I don't know what will. Queen Anne's Revenge, the notorious pirate's infamous flagship, has been found again, and it's creating a buzz in maritime archaeology. This ship, originally a French slave vessel named La Concorde, was captured by Blackbeard in 1716 and renamed. With its fearsome reputation, it was discovered off the coast of North Carolina. Imagine standing on the deck where Blackbeard himself led his famous pirate raids. Cannons, anchors, and even medical supplies are some of the artifacts that have been retrieved out of the ship until now. But here's the exciting part. This discovery is shaking up what we know about piracy. Number 19, Titanic Wreck. On April 15th, 1912, the Titanic, famously labeled unsinkable, hit an iceberg and sank on its maiden voyage, killing 1,517 people. The ship went down more than 12,000 feet deep in the North Atlantic. For over 70 years, the Titanic's wreckage lay untouched without causing any trouble until the US Navy accidentally discovered it in 1985. Since then, submersibles have been visiting the wreck, capturing stunning footage and revealing how the ship's condition has changed over time. Number 20, Batavia Shipwreck. In 1629, the Dutch ship Batavia hit coral reefs off Western Australia and ended up in a real-life survival drama. Survivors faced terrible conditions and even mutiny on a lonely island. With no hope in sight, the ship became unfortunate news until 1963, when the wreck was discovered. While it reminded the survivors of the tragedy they had merely escaped, it led Australia to work on their heritage laws. Today, you can see part of Batavia's hull at the Western Australian Museum in Fremantle. Some artifacts are also on display at museums in Australia and the Netherlands. But these artifacts don't just show how life was back then, they also tell how brutal mutinies could get. Number 21, sunken Egyptian treasures. Ever dreamed of discovering ancient Egyptian treasures while diving in the Mediterranean? That's exactly what underwater archaeologists did with the lost cities of Thonis Heraclean and Canopus. For over 1,000 years, these cities were buried under the sea, hiding incredible finds like a massive statue of the Nile flood god Hapi and a gorgeous statue of Queen Arsinoe Sekou, 
who was like Cleopatra's cousin. The secrets of ancient Egypt, which for thousands of years lay submerged beneath the Mediterranean. The hidden treasures initially captured the interest of the masses and are now securely kept away in the British Treasure Museum, still amazing to anyone who looks their way. Number 22, Sloth Fossils. Discovered in underwater cave, Let's dive into a mysterious underwater cave in Mexico where a giant sloth fossil that's been over 10,000 years old just got discovered. This is the story of 2009 when cave explorer Vicente Fito stumbled upon a nearly perfect sloth skeleton. Named Sibalbaonyx oviceps, this ancient giant sloth weighed around 500 pounds and lived in a time when the cave was dry. We we're not really clear when they went extinct, but it was probably four or five thousand years ago. As the sea level rose and flooded the cave, the sloth's bones were preserved in a perfect time capsule. When the discovery was made, it felt as if finding the fossils of a real-life dinosaur. Except in this case, it's a giant sloth that roamed the earth long before us. Number 23, Jewelry Underwater in River. In this fun and thrilling video, a diver takes us on an underwater adventure, diving deep into a river to uncover hidden treasures. As the diver explores the depths, he stumbles upon a dazzling collection of jewelry. Rings, necklaces and bracelets. The excitement builds with each discovery, turning the dive into a real-life treasure hunt. But each piece of jewelry found also makes us wonder how it ended up there in the first place. Number 24, HMS Pandora. In 1791, HMS Pandora set sail on a high stakes mission to catch the bounty mutineers. Many of the amazing artifacts from the HMS Pandora shipwreck belong to the ship's officers. Captain Edwards and his crew probably thought they had it all under control until Pandora hit a reef and sank near Australia. Imagine their surprise. The prisoners were kept in a Pandora's box cage, which was a bit of a literal twist on the term. Discovered in 1977, the Pandora wreck is like a deep sea time treasure, offering a peek into 18th century life. From its cast iron stove to quirky artifacts, it's a mystery tour under the sea. Who knew shipwrecks could be this fascinating and fun? Number 25, HMS Terror. The HMS Terror was one of the two ships in the doomed Franklin Expedition, which vanished in the Arctic in 1845 while searching for the Northwest Passage. After more than 170 years of questioning its whereabouts, the ship was found in 2016, perfectly preserved in the icy waters. This ship was outfitted for exploration with a hull reinforced to withstand ice, but it wasn't enough and the ship soon again met its fate. And that was it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Also, don't forget to hit the bell icon to get all our videos on time. Until next time.